I have um, always wanted a little girl. It was like my passion and dream to have a daughter. Have a daughter. Have a daughter. As we proceed to give you what you need. Alright guys, in the last video I introduced you guys to Michelle and her beautiful daughter Evie. In this video we are going to pick up a simple hairstyle and how to trim your little one's hair. So in the last video I left off with shampooing, conditioning, and we are now here. With Evie's hair still wet, I am going to take my leave-in conditioner and you can do any type of mixture. There are a ton of DIY leave-in spray recipes out there. I'm going to go ahead and emulsify that and get it all throughout her hair. My next step is taking my oil mixture, which I have a recipe for that and the link to that video will be below in the description bar. And I'm going to use that oil as my sealant. My next step is going to be parting off my first work section. In any type of hairstyle with any type of hair texture, it is always best to part out a good section of the hair. This allows for an easier workspace and just, just making it easier all the way around. I'm going to softly comb through her hair. As you can see, the other two products have blended into her hair quite well. Now I'm going to add the third step. I'm going to add her cream. I'm using Shea Moisture's Curl Enhancing Smoothing Cream, but there are a ton of styling creams out there, so don't limit yourself to just this. There might be something that's going to work better for your little one's hair. Next, I'm gonna take my Giovanni LA Gel and I'm going to apply a small amount of that onto that section that I have parted out. Now that I have her hair completely hydrated with my lock method, I'm going to go ahead and just continue to work that product throughout that section of hair. I mean, even if you have to grab a brush or a comb, you really want to make sure that that product is evenly distributed throughout her hair. My next step is going to be taking my water bottle and rehydrating the section. You want to always make sure you're working with wet to very damp hair. Next, I'm going to take off my first small section for her first twist. Today's style is going to be really simple. I am going to be taking small sections of hair. I'm gonna make sure all tangles are removed. I'm going to split that one section of hair into two even sections of hair. With those two even sections of hair, I'm going to simply twist one section over the other section. This is a two strand twist. Now two strand twists are going to be used a ton if you have a natural hair child. They are perfect for protective styles, letting their hair stay hydrated and pent up and out of the way. Once I get to the bottom of the two strand twist, I'm going to take her ends that are not as blunt and together as the rest of her hair and I'm going to wrap that around my finger in a twirling motion and get all of her coils to go in the same direction. All right, let's see that again. One small section that I'm going to make sure that there's no tangles. I'm then going to split that small section into two even smaller sections, wrapping one over the other until I get to the ends of her hair. Once I get to the ends, I'm going to simply take all of the ends, wrapping them around my finger, getting all of her coils to go in the same direction. I am going to be doing this style throughout her whole head. On my next large section that I'll part out, not this section, but the next row, I will be doing every other twist, meaning that the twist will fall in between the parts, making sure that, you know, it just looks fuller. But you guys should get the idea now. One section, split that section in half, twist the hair over the other hair, twist until you get to the ends, and then you simply finger coil that hair. So here's the finished look. As you can see, each twist falls in between each one of those parts. 
Now is the trimming part. As you can see, I am taking the twist and I'm filling to the very ends of the twist. When the hair is uneven, the ends are going to tell you. They're gonna feel rough and ragged. Those are the ends that I'm trimming off. And since Evie does not wear her hair straight, it's best to trim her hair while it's twisted because it's in the organized twist with even sections on both sides of the twist so the hair is gonna be as even as it's going to be without straightening it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this series. I am asking you to share this with any parent that is interested in learning more about their child's natural hair. And thumbs up if you wanna see more natural hair children's series like this. I would love to do them for you guys. If you haven't, make sure you check out video one in this series on the shampoo regimen I did for Evie. I wanna send a special thank you to Michelle and Evie for being so incredibly awesome to work with. All right guys, you know what time it is. Hit that subscribe button, that way you'll always be up to date on my newest videos. I do hair, fashion, makeup, and DIY on this channel. I have another channel that I have with my family, Emma and the Hubs TV. We do family vlogs and small talks, so you're definitely going to want to check that channel out too. You can also catch me over at www.themariaantoinette.com. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys soon, bye.